out in Mobile 6. So he's been driving all over our area throughout the morning looking for the worst spots so you can avoid them. So Brent, where are you right now? Hey, Ken and Jenny, good afternoon to you. We are in the downtown core right now making our way all about town. Uh, we have been from the East County out to the suburbs and now we are in downtown monitoring the situation. It has certainly been a very busy day for road crews. In fact, listen to this. We just got some new information. The Portland Bureau of Transportation saying that in the last two days, Wednesday and Thursday, they've dropped nearly 11,000 gallons of de-icer. The Oregon Department of Transportation saying that they've laid down more than 126 thousand gallons of de-icer since December 1st. Most of that de-icer has come in the last two days. On Mount Scott in southeast Portland, de-icing crews work overtime. The city of Portland running its crews on 12-hour shifts. The reason? The ice. It's caused gridlock for commuters today. In East Multnomah County this morning, Marine Drive near Interlochen shut down. These cars left on the side of the road. Tow truck drivers up and down the Willamette Valley today being kept very busy. Back on Mount Scott, the city closing some of the hillier roads. The roads today tricky for drivers, even trickier for those walking. But Nelson Baboa in Troutdale won't let Mother Nature stop him as he wakes his way to the grocery store. He has cleated boots and ski poles. That's why I tell people uh, not to go out if they don't have the right uh, attire. And they make sure they go out and to bring water because they be hydrate, dehydrated. That's why I bring water. Alrighty, Nelson, thank you so much for your time. So I'll let you go. Uh... And you're taking a live look right now from Mobile Six, which has the ability to give you a real-time condition update. We are just going over the Markham Bridge right now, and you can see there is some uh, snow and ice on the side of the road, but the travel lanes are clear, and that is the good news. Ken and Jenny will send it back to you in the studio. That looks a lot better than it did just a few hours ago. Okay, thank you, Brent.